I think that one of the reasons that it was so easy for Jesus to be able to continue to sleep in the storm is that that wasn't the only storm. Jesus knew, hey, there's this one, there's another one, there's gonna be another one after that. You guys have immediately fallen into, this is it, Jesus, I'm done, it's over, it's the end times, help us. But he's like, no, 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 there's always gonna be another struggle. There's always gonna be something else. If you can begin to shift your mind, if you can be transformed by the renewal of your mind and recognize, hey, this problem in front of me, maybe without sounding cheesy, there is purpose to it. Maybe I can lean into it. Maybe there's something God wants me to stay. Instead of just constantly complaining about what's going on, rehearsing all my problems, maybe God's like, hey, look a little bit harder. Maybe there's something I want you to learn from this. If Jesus is sleeping, man, I should be like, hey, we're good. I'm just going to ride this one out too, I guess. If not, at least I'm going down with him, right? Like, why would I want to allow my life to be ruled by fear and anxiety, being stressed out? I'm going to let every problem, every struggle just get in the way of of what purpose God has given me. We got a place to move forward to. 